More than a year and a half, the Amistad has not been able to continue its mission to educate. Yeah, repairs to the rigging system still aren't done. News 8's Tina Detell on the scene at the Mystic Seaport with more on what's taking so long. The Amistad is now shrink-wrapped and winterized. It has been docked here at the Mystic Seaport since May of 2010 after it suffered some damage to the bowsprit, which is part of the rigging. It's usually sticking out the front here, but as you can see, it's been removed. Removed but not repaired, the Amistad was damaged during its trip from Cuba in the spring of 2010. Since then, the historic replica of the schooner, known for its slave revolt, has sat at the Mystic Seaport free of charge. She's absolutely recognizable when you see her coming up the river or down the river. The ship was built at the Mystic Seaport and first set sail in 2000. The question now is, will it stay afloat financially? According to the Day newspaper, Amistad America, the nonprofit which manages the ship, needs $100,000 to fix the bowsprit and is currently in debt to a bank for $280,000. I knew that there was some issues going on with the finances and I don't have all the details but hopefully it can be restored and something that you know we're all proud of in America to have this piece of history. Only after repairs are made will the schooner be able to resume its mission to educate and spread its inspirational story. Since 2004 the state has given Amistad America 3.3 million dollars through line item funding plus it received a bond grant of four hundred thousand dollars to be used for repairs in 2007. Our several calls and emails to Amistad America were not returned. And that would be something to check into why. Yeah. You want to know why, you know, with yeah. some state funding, it's not right. actually... Where's the money going? You know. Yeah, they should fix it up. If all goes as reportedly planned, the Amistad won't be docked here next winter. It should be in the Caribbean. On the scene in Mystic, Tina Detell, News 8.